Alright, uh, hello everyone, my name is Emerald Spencer. Uh, hmm. So, there are a lot of videos that I should be making before this one, and I should be editing a lot of videos that are currently in my backlog, but, uh, this guy's special, he gets skipped a lot. So, what I have before me here is the Linus Tech Tips Screwdriver. I ordered this thing months ago at least, like whenever I got the email that said I could order it. Um, I don't even remember what wave I was in. If I was even in a wave, I'll explain that in a minute. But yeah, I have been excited for this thing for a while. Um, now this is a disclaimer. I am not a screwdriver testing channel. I am not a tool testing channel in general. I have no idea what I am doing in terms of, like, empirical data. I will link the two reviews I know of in the description. Also, I'm not going to be testing it out a lot. I have my potion bottle, and I'm just going to be unscrewing and rescrewing the battery cover. That is it. But with that out of the way, so why does this guy get to skip the line? And why was I so cagey about the uh, wave thing? Well, I'll just open it and show you. Obviously, we got the LTT card. I got the Black Shaft version. You better believe I got the Black Shaft version. And, so disclaimer, by the time you're seeing this, you probably won't be able to order the thing anymore. The story there, I'll also link to Linus's video on the making of the screwdriver, is that they tried with this Black Shaft. They really tried. But this coating, apparently, it chips, it scratches, it scrapes, and you can see the shiny metal underneath. I don't care. I think that's going to look cool, but they wanted to switch to a silver shaft, and the fan base went nuts. So they said, okay, we will let anyone who cares about it order it, but then it's going off, and it did. Here it is. I have not tried this yet. I got it like three days ago from when I'm recording this. The only people who have tried it so far were Brawny and a couple members of the workout group. I forget precisely who. So, this is going to be my first time truly hands-on with it. And also, for the comparisons, I have my iFixit kit, and I have this screwdriver. Uh, I believe my dad got it for me years ago. Uh, but of course, each one is very different. So, like, I fix it, no ratcheting of any kind, you just have the little, uh, pivot bit down here. Uh, this probably isn't going anywhere. This is very good for small devices, like if I ever get back into Joy-Con shell swaps, which, uh, I don't know if I ever made videos about- You know, I do remember I made one video when I did the transparent one. Or was it the carbon fiber one? It's probably the carbon fiber one. Uh, but yeah, that's not going anywhere. That's good for small stuff. This one is getting yeeted, because here it is. You have... Hex adjustment on each side. I don't even know off the top of my head what these sizes are. And then you've got Phillips and Flathead, each side. I need the Phillips side out for that one. So yeah, uh, the LTT screwdriver will be able to store 12 bits, which is a lot better than this thing's four. <laughs> this thing's four. So, now that I've glossed over those, let's get into the screwdriver. Like the weight to it. Uh. I need to check something real quick. Okay, that is supposed to be recessed. Right? Yeah. Here are black screwdriver. Uh, they did have a black shaft version with orange here. I prefer the uh, complete stealth mode. Uh, got this cap here with the LTT on it. Obviously, the knurling. You got that super shiny magnet, which Linus was very insistent on. Well, not the shininess, but how powerful it is. Alright, we have this magnet we can put in there. Is that good? Is it the biggest magnet we can put in there? No. Then is it good? No. Alright, so it's currently locked. And one thing they were particular about, which will be in the making of the screwdriver video they did, most screwdrivers, if you turn it right, it'll ratchet left. Uh, this one, if you turn it right, it'll turn right. That is a very nice mechanism. 
All right, but of course you guys didn't come to see me fiddle with the screwdriver. You came to see me, uh... I don't know why you came to see me, to be honest. I don't know why people come to this channel. In all seriousness, though, you came to see me actually use it and tell you how I think it feels. But let's load up the tool mechanism first. Uh, I'm going to be using their bits, so that little ninja... Oh yeah, this internal is orange still. I guess that makes sense. All of their bits are black, so you want to be able to see them. And of course, here are all the bits. Eh, there's better pictures on the website. This isn't supposed to be like a full walkthrough or anything, it's basically just a glorified reaction video. Uh, okay. Oh. Of course, as if the magnet weren't powerful enough, they give you another one to add to it. Actually, that is one thing. Uh. Hmm. I thought the magnets would work like that. Let's use this one. The magnet bit. Oh, that is a powerful magnet. Alright, so now if I do this... I really hope that didn't just screw up my audio at all. Okay, well that's not sturdy enough. That's not gonna work. Alright, did I... Mm -hmm. Behold, screwdriver storage. Yeah, let's get you back up here. So, right, first thing I've got to do is put the ninja star in position so that it sits between the bits, like so. You were the medium flathead. We're gonna put these all in in order. So that'll be spot twelve then. Also something they did, all these bits are smaller than a typical one. Uh, yep, they have a comparison right here, thanks to iFixit. So this is about the length of your typical screw screwdriver bit, and this is the length of their bit. Uh, let me get it up towards the camera. Notably smaller. And of course, they sell their own bits, or you could, like, angle grind your own if you have one of those. I'd probably just buy their bit kits at some point if I ever needed it. But I can't think of anything that the basic kit wouldn't suffice for that I wouldn't also already have specialty screwdrivers for. Like, I have the iFixit kit for small stuff, so like Nintendo consoles and whatnot, and of course, they have that adapter there. So, I could very easily... Uh, I could very easily just use this screwdriver for iFixit stuff. And the only other thing I can think of is that I have one super special screwdriver, I don't know where it is at the moment, uh, for disassembling GameCubes. But other than that, I'm sure that this bit kit will be fun. You know what, maybe Torx. Ah, that's what the iFix it kits for. One more flag. Then the squares. Alright, and that's a screwdriver. Now, uh... We need to get out the small Phillips. going to want this on Lefty Lucy. Alright, and of course, potion bottle. First up, this screwdriver. Now, I'll probably miss the rubber grip a little bit, but most of the top of this is plastic, so, eh. And of course, you see I have to keep turning this thing. And it's off. 
now we get this back in, get this back on. So of course you have the smooth plastic that makes it very easy to turn against the palm of my hand. So yeah, it's, it's, it's a screwdriver. All right, now for I fix it. I'm expecting this to be a much better experience because of the rotating part here. But I've never actually tested these side by side. Definitely. A lot better. Because my palm doesn't have something turning against it. Alright, that's the unscrew and the re-screw. Yep. So that went a lot more smoothly. Literally, because it's... It spins. Of course it's going to be smooth. And now, the LTT screwdriver. Uh, we have this on loosen, right? Yep. Oh, the magnet fought me a little there. Okay, this is a little too loose for the ratchet to do its thing, but that's what this is for. Yep, alright, that's loosened. Now I've got to switch the ratchet and tighten it. Alright, so not the best test for a ratcheting screwdriver, but it does show its versatility. Because of the knurling, it helps with the grip uh, when you need to go for finer jobs, and of course you got the ratchet for bigger jobs. Yeah, very nice. I already got metal shavings on this thing. Uh, yeah, that is my very rambly um, video about getting my LTT screwdriver. You are going to see this thing whenever I have to do, like, anything. Like, if I have to open up my computer again, this guy is going to be in it. And I figured I should have a video about that before it happens so that the comment section isn't flooded with just stuff about the LTT screwdriver. Now, let's be honest, it's probably going to be. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it, please be sure to hit that... That is a powerful magnet... That is a powerful magnet, Mr. Sebastian. Okay, put this away. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it, please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you have a comment so inclined, ring the notification bell, it keeps you updated with all my future videos, website, Patreon, Minds, Discord, and Twitch links are in the description below. I will see all of you in the next video. Thank you for watching. See you next time.